Let's start uh, our bulletin with Prime Minister designate Narendra Modi who is giving final touches to his cabinet. There are indications that Modi will usher in an era of minimum government and maximum governance. There will be focus on a leaner and younger cabinet which will take uh, many first steps for a radical push in governance. Gujarat Bhavan, the new nerve center of Delhi's Spa Corridor. Modi is giving a final shape to his cabinet from here. Yesterday, Amit Shah and J.P. Nada were seen reaching Gujarat Bhavan early. BJP leaders were also seen making a beeline for Rajnath Singh's residence. Sources indicate key ministerial births for Rajnath Singh, Sushma Swaraj, Nitin Gadkari, Arun Jaitley and Arun Shori. Rajnath is tipped to get the all-important home ministry. Both Sushma and Jaitley are in contention for external affairs or defence ministries. Nitin Gadkari is likely to get the infrastructure portfolio, which will be an amalgamation of several ministries. Finance ministry may go to BJP veteran Arun Shori. But there is no final word on the role for patriarch LK Advani. Sources claim that Modi cabinet will have no place for those above 75 years. J.P. Nada has suddenly become important in the BJP. Sources say the BJP General Secretary may replace Rajnath if the current party chief joins the cabinet. But Amit Shah and Nada, Venkaya Naidu and RPI's Ram Das Athavle met Modi. Athavle is in Raj Sabha with the help of the BJP. While his party has no Lok Sabha members, Athavle is lobbying hard for a ministerial berth. After Athavle, Uma Bharti, who is likely to get a berth, called on Modi. Sources reveal that Modi has a special formula for his cabinet. There might be one cabinet berth for every 12 MPs that a party has got. Parties with four MPs may get an MOS seat. Modi is likely to lead a 22 to 25 member cabinet. Crucially, Modi will discontinue the group of ministers system. Key ministries will be helped by an expert. A 28-member team of experts will be put in place to help ministries. Modi may end the interference of ministers in public sector undertakings. An import committee will directly report to the Prime Minister's office over the state of PSUs. The final shape of Modi cabinet will be clear after the oath-taking ceremony. But for the first time in history, a Prime Minister will lead a cabinet which will not only be small but will also be young. Bureau Report, Headlines Today. Bridgesh Pandey, Deputy Editor, is now joining us with more details from outside Rajnath Singh's residence. Bridgesh, it's widely being speculated that Narendra Modi wants a younger cabinet. Where does it leave the seniors then and what's the party president's take on that? Well, that is one of the biggest uh, dilemma which Narendra Modi has been facing ever since he has got an absolute majority. Because <clears throat> Lal Krishna Advani is the senior most party leader. He's credited with. He's someone who's credited with building the party from scratch to where it is uh, right now. And he has been a deputy prime minister in the last uh, stint of the B NDA led BJP led NDA. So this is the biggest dilemma because uh, there uh, uh, it, it is it is openly known that there is no love lost between the old patriarch and his protege of one uh, of his protege uh, Narendra Modi. And Narendra Modi would not like to see Advani in any kind of constitutional position which can embarrass him in any which way in future. Apart from that, it doesn't leave uh, Narendra Modi with any kind of leeway uh, in, in, in you know in positions in which he can actually have uh, Lal Krishna Advani accommodated. Okay. This is one of the biggest reasons that if you remember that the start of the government formation, there was a hectic parlance between RSS and the senior leadership of the BJP. That's and one right. of the biggest issue which was being discussed was the rehabilitation of Lal Krishna Advani post of speaker is being speculated but it is a, a, a but 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 sources within the bjp are mm -hmm. saying that it is highly unlikely that uh, narendra modi camp will give advani a position which has a potential okay. of doing even uh, any kind of damage to him so it is it is a very classic cash 22 situation right now for narendra modi all right aditi uh -huh. anant narayanan is also now joining us uh, from outside the gujarat bhavan aditi are any meetings with allies slated today and what are they negotiating for since since uh, Narendra Modi has perhaps made it clear that he wants a leaner cabinet. 
Absolutely. In fact, today we are getting to know that TDP Chief uh, Chandrababu Naidu is expected to come here at around 11 or 11.30. In fact, uh, we, yesterday also we got to know that probably Uddhav Thakre will also come to meet Narendra Modi. Now, uh, basically, uh, Maha, uh, as far as Shiv Sena is concerned, they had demanded that they, they want five cabinet berths in Modi's government. And say, uh, same with uh, TDP Chandrababu Naidu. He said that he wants maximum C, uh, uh, cabinet portfolios given to his party, uh, his party members. So these are the last minute negotiations which are going on. Yes, Narendra Modi has made it absolutely clear that he wants the cabinet to be as small as possible. However, he has also promised that he will accommodate all the allies, especially those who have performed extremely well during the 2014 Lok Sabha polls. So this is the last minute negotiation that will take place today, Maha, at the Gujarat Bhavan. So we are expecting some movement and some meeting to, to begin from 10 o'clock onwards here in the national capital, Maha. Aditi Anant Narayanan and Rajesh Pandey, both of you, many thanks for joining us with those details this morning.